Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about aspect ratio in Midjourney. All right, Midjourney is a text to image AI, uh, a Discord bot where you can put text and it will convert it into an image. Now the aspect ratio is a property that you put at the end, you see dash dash and AR, aspect ratio, space, a numerical value, column, and another numerical value. By default, if you omit it and you don't put it, it will do it uh, one by one. By that I mean, it's like using one by one, all right? So this is equal to not putting anything at all. It will just generate a square image. Now, the most important thing to understand that there are many things that impact, of course, the results. Uh, the aspect ratio is one of them, and it's very, very important. For, for example, just this something here as an example, I try to generate an image, potato screaming, seeing french fries in front of him. All right, forget about this one for a second. So in front of him, I wanted in front. I knew that that's what I want. And this image is exactly how I imagine it to be. Not exactly, but I mean the composition. That's what I want it to be. French fries in front. But the reason I chose a vertical one, 10 by 16, because I did want uh, the potato to look big. I wanted the facial expressions. And you can see here, I put uh, a potato screen, but also put before, I use also humanoid as well. But then I see that I don't need it. But I wanted the facial expression to look big and very, because it's all about the facial expression here. And I also wanted a space for the potato in front. So that's why I chose it. Otherwise, if I choose something else, I would get something different. So I knew I need to go with it uh, and get the composition right. Hopefully. Yeah, not all the time you're going to get what you want, but you can experiment, refresh, and try out. And first, try a different aspect ratio. Actually, it's good experimenting with things. Uh, so I'm not saying just use it based on what you see. I want the image to be. Try to even experiment. Sometimes you're going to get some really crazy results that even look better than what you thought with a certain aspect ratio. But generally speaking, now I know actually what I want to see. Depends on the subject uh, and what I want the image to, to be. And I choose the appropriate more or less the appropriate aspect ratio so for example here i went with this is another one all right cool huh uh is another one is another one not all the time you get what you want but the thing is when i change the aspect ratio uh i got things that i didn't really want it just got it wrong so you can see here this is one example this is a square one by one this is a more vertical, 5 by 16, very narrow and tall. You can see some things get just the potato, just enlarge it, so it stretches the face. It does stretch, just render it like that. Here it's tiny, with lots of French fries filling in, there's nothing, and this is just... Again, but when I chose the right aspect ratio, the chances for me to get what I want was much higher because when I tried many different aspects, ratios, just generated things that they didn't like. So I knew ahead of time to choose it. Of course, this is just one example and uh, there are many other examples. Aside from that, you need to know that when you displayed the images on Midjourney, uh, when you look at Midjourney with the community, you can see that even, for example, tall ones like this one, for example, uh, you just take lots of vertical space, so they are really standing out when you present them. So there are some, you know, if you want to make, for example, something like a sword, you want to be very visible and striking when you display to others, uh, you can go with vertical. Of course, it fits the situation, uh, the image, the subject. So here you can see that I went with vertical because I really wanted to display everything. And this is just low resolution, of course, if you make it... Uh, uh, higher resolution or if you view it on a phone, you know, you're going to be much more striking. Compared to if I use something like that, you can see there's more details here, but basically if I want to focus on the sword, I'm, you know, I'm losing space here for actually put more details for the sword, you know, because again, you can really get, I think the maximum is 3 mega, uh, megapixels. So basically you are losing lots of uh, things to actually make the sword look really good with all the details, if that's your focus, rather than going uh, with a square aspect ratio here, all right? So again, based on experiment, you're gonna find out, you know, what works best for your particular image. Of course, you can always just change and render another one, but aspect ratio is a very, very important uh, property. Uh, so make sure to use it because if by now you haven't used it at all, all you're gonna get is just the square ones. And most of the time I don't use it, by the way. Most of the time, actually my favorite one is just uh, uh, a taller aspect ratio for many of the things that I create, but this is because I do lots of uh, cute and creatures that I want to emphasize on the face 
or partial body in face, so that's why I use it. But again, it's all depend on what you want to achieve. But don't forget, use AR, try it out, and see what works best for your uh, uh, AR art results. And that's about it. I hope you found this one useful. If you have anything to add, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.